to dense person who can't see the forest through the trees. Um, oh, she's young asking person is, in a society, in a whole, which you work zero hours a week and zero and hours capital. a year, why and do you expect capital. to get anything from that society if you do I'm not pay taxes to get a or job. do anything? I'm trying to get a job. I'm trying to get uh, a job. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Are you sure you're not fucking Frank? Are you fucking sure? Fuck you! You're not Frank? Fuck you! <laughs> what? Okay, so what past training have you had? What have you? What have I've you? I've had my polar. I'm trying to move past that. Oh my god! Oh no! Oh, no! I just want to know what nothing. kind of field or industry you've worked in before. Nothing. Like that. Like mine. Mine's IT. Sure, let's listen to the guy who has an opinion. Okay, whatever. All right. Be immature. So, be smart. Fine. Fair. Whatever. So. I work in IT, and mm -hmm. I actually am completely self-taught. I get that. I, yeah, yes. and I was I basically work with a, an attorney who only does pro bono cases because mm -hmm. we we want to help people that cannot afford an attorney. We right. make that decision to do that. I get that. I You're also, compassionate. Yeah, but you called me a bigot a few times. And he called well, me right. bigoted, and uh, apparently I'm okay with sexist shit, but I'm an environmental scientist, and I work in one of the biggest wastewater industries in the entire United States. But you're voicing the opinion of Gen Z when you're not Gen Z. You're trying to say what 18-year-olds want these days, you're and you don't You're generalizing. No, you're bigoted. You don't, don't know what they want. You're using the same word. Why, why, why does it matter? Hold on, hold on. One at a time. One at a time, lad. I'm sorry, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to voice the opinion of what an 18 year old thinks in 2021. Okay. Well, uh, um, um, you guys are not going to make any headway with um, uh, Captain uh, Wall for a brain. Um, so what I'm going to do the is. young I'm person go to bed that thinks he knows everything. And Good night, not Frank. kill myself. Good night, Billy. Good night. Um, and. Uh, Good night, Ace, Enjoy sleeping underneath that bridge. I appreciate you, Billy. Enjoy being a capitalist pig. All right, so uh, we are going to allow people in. Uh, again, I am uh, evoking um, Drag Notch rules. Just a tip means don't go all in while he's Sorry. here. So, Sorry. yeah. All right. I uh, don't know if he dropped or if he left. I don't know. I didn't get to say goodbye to Billy. <laughs> goodbye, Billy. We love you. Fuck no, that's not what I was going to say, but all right. I'll, I'll go Billy. with that. No, he needs to apologize to Midnight. <laughs> <laughs> Billy needs to apologize to Midnight. And now it's Jack's fault. Yeah, now, now that you mentioned it, and I'm in the area, uh, so everything's my fault. Has anyone considered that... Uh, uh, Lucas's uh, behavior is because he hasn't eaten in 30 hours and his blood sugar might be a little low? Probably. Yeah. Well, I told him to get in contact with me because uh, uh, so yeah. I get on here. I no, he I did have a long trip there from Washington to LA and then, you know, kind of got stranded because he didn't have a ticket to get home. I just think he <laughs> uses big vocabulary. He doesn't fully understand. Oh, uh, yeah. Is that just me? I could be wrong. I don't know the history of this dude, but I, I could be wrong. Check check me at the door, y'all. I'm serious. I, I'm I'm just amazed at brought up that a whole generation doesn't think the same thing. Where is he getting that? Yeah, Gen robotic. Zers say this. Are they? Oh, I'm robotic. And I'm not kicking you out this time. <laughs> Am I still robotic? <laughs> now you're Am I good. Now you better. No, I I don't understand how he thinks an entire generation of people within like a 15 year range all think the same thing. It's well, just crazy. Mean, He's also generalizing that 18 year olds are held at a, on a pedestal and they are capable of life experience and are going to give him literally he's got such specific, I don't know, like things he wants, but I don't think he's going to find I'm going to call it a unicorn. I don't think he's going to find that unicorn that's young, that's hot, that has a tight body. I'll use the word to use that has tight skin that. I, I, that goes to parties that's mature i don't think he's gonna find that and maybe i'm wrong but i just i don't have a preference on gender y'all i can tell you he so are, are, you, are you saying he's trying to steal chris chan's girlfriend probably <laughs> maybe he wants yeah. shanny i don't know no that's too old this is the thing that i don't understand is that 
uh, it was the question I kept trying to fucking ask was right. why do you feel that you're entitled to be to, to the system of something that you are clearly not contributing to? Right, exactly. Because you're totally happy taking the, you know, twenty dollars for me, a, a, a capitalist bigot, and eating that food, but you don't want to make an effort to actually do what I did to become somebody who has their own money. You're also a capitalist, a bigot, and you allow sexist things to be said to you. Yeah. <laughs> what should I should I just kill Billy? Yes, I guess. In my like, I don't listen, Lola. I appreciate you, but I don't know. Yeah, like if we uh, don't want bad things to be said to us, then Billy would need to be removed. <laughs> Man. I think yeah. one, one of the many offensive things, the one of the, the least offensive thing of the many offensive things he said was his lack of understanding of how he thinks he's like this big leftist and he says all this crazy shit, but he's like the Von Helton of the left wing. You know what I mean? <laughs> He doesn't know what he's talking about. Like, he's like, I believe that's, in the, you know, it's like, it's slogans. It's words he heard. And he's like, that's, you know. that's what I'm saying. It's like the yeah. princess bride statement of, I don't think that word means what you think it means. Keep using that word. Yeah, exactly. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> exactly. Can I just say, Lola, you're absolutely my hero because <laughs> you said exactly what I was thinking. What, where you uh, pointed out, you, you pointed out where you want to have a mature relationship, yet you do these things that are not mature. Yeah, and it was just like it was just like this super obvious thing to me, and I was trying to put it into the right words, and you did it so perfectly. Thank you so much. I liked my I liked my you. statements about um, you know maybe you should stop worrying about a king and try working on having a kingdom. <laughs> Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, I feel like he's so worried about having the perfect queen that he doesn't understand what that means. But also, dude, you need to work on yourself or you're yeah. never going to find that unicorn queen that you so desperately are looking for. And it never works out that way. Yeah. And, and it's like not, and not, not only is he like the creepy dude at the teenager party, he's the creepy dude at every party. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Yeah, oh, like, and gala events. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'm doing it, including bar mitzvahs and bat mitzvahs. The, uh, the, you know, the, the yeah, level the, of entitlement the, to me is astonishing. Okay. How entitled he feels to yeah. women. Yeah. Feels yeah. The entitlement had had, had me going. He doesn't feel women should have a say in the relationship he wants with them. Well, that's why I asked, would you be okay with someone like me who's 31, who has her career, who has her own home, who owns her own vehicle, all of these things. I'm going places. I'm moving up at work. Are you actually going to be okay with that? Because I don't think I personally, based on what I know him for the stream, to be fair, I don't know a lot of his history. I'm not sure he would be okay with that. I really, don't, I don't think he would be okay with the fact that I probably make way more money than he does. I don't think oh, yeah. he'd be okay with it. That's just me. Lola might disagree. Lola might disagree. I, I agree. See, I see. I think he's he wants eighteen year old girls because they're no offense, but they're kind of dumb and impressionable. Don't have. They a have lot no of experience. experience. He's, he's, he's right. Control yeah. and manipulate an eighteen year old easier than he can. And they might just like his board game. <laughs> they might like his board game, and he might be able to mold them into Wait, what. Did, did he, he invent a board game? He wants to. Oh, no. it oh, he hasn't claimed, he claims he, he has. Yeah. Yeah. One yeah. of the 19 year old dudes who won't hook him up with puss. Oh, won't God. help him develop his what video game. What kind of person or... is like, oh, no, wait, I gave video game, game or board game? Girl. I said video game. I misspoke. I meant. Okay. That's, yeah. That was that was what got me weird, like weirded out where he says like, well, they won't tell me where the parties are at, and it's like, <laughs> there's guess, a reason why. Yeah. yeah it, it, like, I guess in college, I don't think anybody told me where the parties were at. I pretty much just like left one party and went to the next one. Yes. Like, I don't. Re you don't have to be told where the parties yeah. are. Yeah. You know yeah. where you the parties told, are. You're not invited. Yeah, yeah. If 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 I, I was just friends with people and they're like they happened to bring me with. If you're not being brought with already and you have to find it, they don't want you there. Yeah. He basically wants the blueprint. That's why I was asking. Do you want the blueprint? No, he yeah. wants you the map. You want it on the platter. You want 
Who says some dumb shit? Stop. I'm sorry, my husband's being a dick. Oh, here it comes. Oh, my. I'm so sorry. I'm <laughs> Frank. If you're watching, I'm sorry, Frank. But he wants Frank, the blueprint. I love Frank. Right. Frank, I love you. I'm There's sorry. That capitalist right. pig back there. That's so that's military industrial complex. But, but hear me, hear me. Yeah, yeah. I don't. YouTube's yeah. no, 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 no. YouTube. Oh, oh, I'm yeah. sorry, Frank. I'm sorry. Yeah. But yeah. what I was trying to say is, Lola that's might it. agree or disagree. Yeah. But he Biden. wants the blueprint. He wants the unicorn. He wants where to find her. The fact that she's 18ish, right? Looks like his niece, whatever his words. Yeah. Um, oh. Both the parties is mature. I uh, he he wants the silver platter. He wants it handed to him. He doesn't want to work for it, and well, that's. And, and, and this is again where I think, I, and I don't remember if it was you or Lola that said it, but they did it so. It was so perfectly. Probably where, Lola. This probably me. <laughs> probably Lola. Definitely it was, Lola. It was, just, it was so well said. Where it was like. Hey, you you want you you mentioned that the, he wants this blueprint, and you said you need to you treat women like they're some sort of object or some sort of like goal, and not as a human being. And right. It's like, yeah. Most of that. There is no magic, like there is no magic bullet that I can just like walk up to a woman and be like, say this secret code, and your panties hit the ground. Yeah. Like, oh, it doesn't work okay. that way. It that's, does not. It does not. Just, also, Lola I was going to make a bad joke. Lola <laughs> is the one that said, we are humans. I'm saying you're you're expecting us as humans to give you one a pedestal. This is all the things that you want. But don't worry. You don't have to work for it. Because apparently, you're a human, Mr. Man. And I am not. Therefore, I should just cater to what you want. Yeah, that's yeah. not how any of this works. Yeah, I mean, how dare he uh, feed and give weed to his, his buddies and they don't give him a girlfriend? Because they're right. a commodity, right? To be traded just like oh. food and weed. And yeah. he, generalizes, he generalizes everything, but then claims we hey, generalize yo. things. Did, did anyone else notice the Elliot Rogers freaking Oh, yeah, shit? man. Yeah, he, yeah. It, he, he didn't call himself the perfect gentleman, but like, what did he say? I'm like, yeah, I'll show them that I am. The it's fedora like, tipping Todd, was really he, intense. He, he, like, he, he said, he, said nice show, he said, show me the party these women are at and I will show them the perfect man I am or whatever, for, excuse me, whatever phrasing he used. Lola, correct me, please. Show him the gentleman he is. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Show me the Ooh. gentleman that Ooh. I can be. I will tip my fedora intensely. <laughs> like, um, I'll really, take my slither and hoodie. It is, it is exactly that. And he uh, here's the thing, and, and I guarantee you this is the reality. He probably got invited to one party, maybe two, and everybody was like, ooh, I do not want to be around this. And then they stopped right. inviting him. And that the, happened. The, and the I feel bad. entitlement is real. Am I wrong? Like, the entitlement was real up in this. It was so oh, yeah. Okay. Absolutely. I'm just making sure. Thank it you. Was, it was very. It, I, I was honestly, I was cringing in my seat when he said, "Show me where the parties are at, and I'll show them the perfect gentleman." What? And it's, an 18 year old oh. girl doesn't want a perfect gentleman oh, because yes. they're immature. Yes. They don't. I don't they don't. Want a gentleman. I Not deal with when, when he talks about like sex as bigoted shit. Let me tell you, I hear worse than what he said on the stream at my job. So he can't come at me with anything that I haven't heard me worth I, hear I mean, I'm just speaking from experience. When I was 18 to 20, if there was some 40 plus year old guy hitting on my yes, exactly. girlfriend, we yes. would have knocked him the fuck out. We would have thrown him out of window yes. and that was the last you see a fucker hanging around us. And justifiably so. And yes. it's like Todd was talking about in, in the chat. It's always the nice guys. It's always these self-proclaimed nice guys nice that guy. They're yep. they're entitled to women as property and never never once was he like to, to find a girl who might like me, he was like to find to find my conquest, you know. But trust me when I tell yeah. you there are men at my job. Now I, I literally no shit, I am one of like five women out of like almost a hundred. I stick out like a sore thumb. I have green hair now, y'all. Um 
men still think that I deal with men like him at my job every day, every shift I go in, right? They think that just because I'm married, doesn't matter what I say, they say the same shit he does. They are entitled. They feel like everything is owed to them. It doesn't matter that I'm married. They're ready to literally take me to the locker room and call it a day. Like it's not, he can't say anything I haven't already heard in a man's field. Do you know what I'm saying? Like the entitlement, like, and that's what got me. That's why I was literally in the chat, like, put me in, Coach Frank. Like, put me in because <laughs> I hear I hear we're we're shit at work, and I'm like, put me in because Lola's gonna say it way more eloquent lately than me, and I'm just gonna come on here and rage. I need Lola to be like. This is what Fit and Curvy is trying to say in a more constructive, eloquent way, but she's ready to go off. Like, Apparently, uh, I looked older than I thought I looked. Oh, not at first. Not at first. No, not really. Like, I, I offered my age. I probably look like I'm 18, what is, which is what he wants because I have green fucking hair and I'm in a like a Harry Potter hoodie. But still, mm -hmm. like, whatever. I'm 31. I have plenty of life experience. Yeah, People probably don't realize. I mean, and I would Girl, you would, look good, but it, it's just I would not assume that either of you are really that old, just to be honest. Like I don't Thank think you. you look that old. And that's not me trying to kiss anybody's ass I'm married. Um <laughs> you know, it, but like I don't think anybody like I don't know. I think it's super weird when people are like let me let me put it this way. He was all up about people being ageist towards him while he was clearly being ageist towards women. Yeah. And, yeah. Specifically towards the Good point. Good point. That's, That's what I'm saying. Like That's what I'm saying. The entitlement, the hypocrisy, the uses the usage of the words. I don't think he understands what those big old dictionary college words. I don't think he think knows what they mean, but they know what they mean. Words mean. When Thank he you. said, uh, I'm in college for da da da, and Billy was like, Are you in college to meet women? That's the answer. He went to college to hit on. He I said know. both. He yeah, said, yeah oh, but the, the real oh, answer is just to hit on girls. Oh, yeah, for sure. The, <laughs> meet girls and then maybe getting some semblance of an education. Uh, has has he really on. just spent 20 years just doing nothing but working in fast food restaurants? And like, think everything hand should be handed to him. Yeah. Pawning off older women, apparently. Yeah. I loved when uh, was it Billy or Frank asked him what degree do you want, and he said PhD. <laughs> oh, God. I can answer. I want a PhD. <laughs> In what genius? Oh, geez. I guess we're all just getting our PhD. Let's go to the PhD store. And In racial studies, it should be in racial studies. Racial studies. <laughs> <laughs> Well, here's the thing. He mentioned that, you know, hey, he's uh, he was hanging out with these guys and they were using the F slur and, and the N word and all these sorts of things. And he's like, well, I, I did it because cause I just because I wanted to get a laugh. And yeah. he said that. And I was like, so I, I look, I'm 30. I'm in my 30s. Uh, I'm actually 31. But I, I hear that and I'm like, this dude has the maturity of an 18 year old. That's why I was asking, do you really think the men that I work with work at with work, men of color, I am 31, okay? They're older than me, to be fair, okay? 40s, 50s, 60s. I would not have, and not that I would anyways, I would not have the audacity, the balls, the bitchery to be like, hey, is it okay if I said th say this, even if it's with like a soft R? Are you actually an 18 year old? Like, are you actually lacking life experience? Yeah. I got questions. When he said he, mentality. Yeah. Mentality. Yeah. When right. he said he got a laugh from an audience that was people of color, did anyone else have that vision in their head of that nervous laughter? Like, <laughs> what a kick your That's ass. me. That's yeah. what I asked. Yeah, like, exactly yeah. what went in my head. If yeah, I you got a laughter, all right. If I said, I'm going to use this as a joke to make fun of pe these people, this group of people that he's generalizing, but then blames us for generalizing. Okay, <laughs> live your truth, dude. Um, if I brought that same thing to the men I work with, let me tell you, they would verbally eviscerate me. Okay, not that I would bring that to them, but you see where I'm going with this. Like, I don't I just, I got questions, y'all. I got questions. By the way, uh, it says in the private chat he is coming back. 
So, uh, oh, I it mean, says at a later date. You know, yeah. Oh, at a later date. My bad. Oh, yes. Oh, I was gonna say I was. Yeah, just how he's coming back. You know, yeah. like, he, he, he wants yeah, one it, more. I, I thought he was about to come in, so I was gonna drop uh, Todd. Just kidding. Yeah, I, I was gonna. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah <laughs> drop, drop me, man, because all I'm. He's not. At, oh, he's not. At, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm with, I'm with, with Buck. Funny. I would just light him up. And, I mean, yeah, I just want to threaten to kick his ass. You know? <laughs> well, he's like, eight, that's the thing. Like, I have an eight-year-old daughter, man. When like, he was talking about it, I was like, yeah, I got a few laughs. It's like, well, that doesn't justify, yeah, like. They're laughing that's, at that's, you. That's what I was right? asking, Frank. Yeah. Like, but he's they're saying. They're laughing at I, him, not with him. Right. He's he, When he said, I'm using this to laugh and mock at people. Now, again, <laughs> I am obviously a, a white woman. Oh, okay. I don't understand his justification. I just don't, and maybe I'll never. I never will. I, okay, we're not live now, right? It's probably. Oh no, no, no! We are live. We are live. We are, we're okay, live. great. I'm, I'm so happy. Yeah, <laughs> like, Lola, go ahead, school me. I'm no, ready. no, no, no! I, I was gonna prove a point by sharing something privately, so that's well, why I I'm asked. Okay. <laughs> oh, I'm glad, I'm I glad you asked. Lola, of course. I, I so. swear to God, I appreciate you. Yeah, no problem. Oh, look, I, honestly, Lola, that, you did such a great job. And, yes. And but apparently I'm a hag and a bigot. Oh, and a bigot. Oh, and, you accept oh, race, and you accept racist and sexist also, comments. I'm just fine agent. with all of it. With your agent. All of it. You capitalist. Yeah. 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 Let me, spend, let me spend 10 minutes throwing slogans about I did one. Idea. I did want to say we didn't get to the Super Chats, uh, the questions, but when we have them back on, we will answer, ask them this time. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we, yeah, we had a few interruptions. Yeah. Just, yeah. Well, well I talked to Alex, Alex too, man. Alex did a great Sorry. job. Sorry. Yeah, I, I was kind of scared right? when he came in. I was like, okay, because I know mm -hmm. Lucas knows who Alex he is. He was going to, I thought he was going to run from Alex. No, no. I was like, all right, sweet. So let's go. Let's go. Yeah, I, 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 I will, I will be weary every hour for Alex. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> shit. I was like, okay, good. How can I communicate, please? Don't fuck him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we can? We can? Oh, y'all didn't even let me go off. I'm ready, I'm ready with my feminist liberal views, y'all. The Peter approach this because I'm like, okay, Billy's okay getting on his case. Okay, not that too bad. We were going back and forth. And then there's a point where Billy just turns around. He's not playing fucking Valhalla. I'm like, yeah. Going downhill. Yeah. <laughs> no, right when what he, he said something to Lola, and I see Billy doing it. Yeah, yeah. You just I was like, oh shit, <laughs> Billy can pay, Billy's paying attention. Like, God damn it. Well, and then Billy also go, goes, I'm gonna get a drink. Oh, I'm, I'm just like, well, Lola can take care of herself, right? Fine. You've been through this. Just let her do it. Billy's like, no. No. <laughs> Did you also see when he was talking? I was like, I had this. Like, tell me yeah. more. Oh. I had, to, I had to get up and walk away for a little bit. There, there are certain cues Sorry. you can watch for Billy Sorry. when he's ready. He's like, all right, I'm done. I'm going in. He's, like, he's, I even test. I was like, hold on. He is coming back. Um, he and I are talking. I, I just, he has dinner. I, I'm not probably not ever going to order anything from Postmates again. Holy fuck. <laughs> <laughs> that whole yes. thing cost me way too much today. Wait, I, I could have told you that. Greg, I'll give you some money back, man. I'll yeah. give you money, shit. Yeah, I'll, I'll yeah. throw it on it, man. I, I put how much in the side. So if you want to, that's fine. It's I, not I, a big. It's not really a big deal, but still, I did not expect to spend that much. He's on yeah. tonight. Yes, so DM me on Twitter. I'll I'll send you money because I was yeah. being a little asshole. So, <laughs> well, my question is: Has he ever had to like acknowledge what he would think the Ooh. parents of these eighteen-year-olds he wants to date would think? That's a good question. That's yeah, I, question. I, I got a quick question. How old is Lucas Warren? 41. 41, 41 yeah. And just so you know, wait, I, wait, hold on a minute. Hold on I would a date here. someone his age. <laughs> he's 41, going to college, looking to get a PhD, and he's looking to date an 18-year-old. <laughs> yes. That's why I said I got questions. There's a lot of people that was in the chat. It's like, if he was talking to my daughter, I'd, I'd, go, I'd go to jail. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm and what I don't past, understand right? here is, He's 41, and he accepted a one-way plane ticket to L.A. <laughs> and then got trapped there with no money. So, okay, here's the thing, though. I want to no, no, say no, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on there. Whoever that is with the red face devil thing. 
Not today, Satan. Not today. Anyways, he's 41. <laughs> and he got catfished to go to LA with a one way airline ticket. Hell, hell, and he wants an 18 year old that looks like he's home. Hey, look, did you watch the beginning where I asked him about that? No, I got here at the end when oh. Billy was fighting with him. Okay. <laughs> I, I asked him about that and I said, were there any red flags? He said, yes, there were red flags. But, and in, in, so his rationalization was that his uh, parents are retired travel agents. He has the, the spirit of adventure. He said, fuck it. He ignored the red flags and just went along with it. So but that, also, I, puss. Nation. I'm also I'm here for the spirit of adventure. I am I, I'm not against okay, that. But, Greg, my Greg, but his, he parents, wait, 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 stop. his parents Sorry, are ahead. retired travel agents, and they never told him about return airfare. <laughs> but also, he's mature enough to understand that there are red flags Easy. that he said. Fuck it. No, I don't think that at all. That was sarcasm. Sorry. <laughs> but, like, I haven't been on stream enough to know, for y'all to know, but, like, he's in his 40s. He wants an 18-year-old. He understands red flags. His parents have done travel stuff, but yet he still went and still feels like shit is owed to him. Make it make sense, y'all. Make. I love when he said uh, there was some girl interested in him, and he goes, "Okay, cool. Pick me up at the bus station." <laughs> oh, yeah. girl! Yeah. Oh, girl. Yeah. Not a woman. Not a woman. A girl. Can we? Oh, mm. There's still... nothing that turns me on more than going to the bus station. <laughs> having... <laughs> <laughs> yes. Baby, I got some dick here for you. Uh, yeah. uh... I'm Lola. I'm ready to ride, baby. Lola, I'll, 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 I'll be the one. I've listen. Oh, I don't have a preference on gender. Let me tell you, of all the people that turned me on the most, <laughs> clip that. That was sarcasm. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, I, I know it's sarcasm, but can someone just get a clip of that for me? That yeah, get a clip. I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> Geek room, I love you. I love I love y'all. Clip me. I'm ready. Go ahead. Sorry, Lola. <laughs> I, was, I, was, I just uh, of all uh, I would have to say that the 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 place that I feel the least sexually adventurous has to be at the bus station. <laughs> it feels like an episode of like Criminal Minds. Um, specifically, the bathroom at the bus station. Yeah, yeah, the bathroom, the bus station. Uh, yeah that's not even that's not even penthouse forum quality. Uh, <laughs> okay, all right. That it's official that there are two places that you do not pick up dates. No bars yep. and bus stations. Yeah, bus yes. station. <laughs> and any any gas station bathroom. Just in case in case you men wanted to know, here's a list. <laughs> Thanks. Good, good info. You, really should have detailed you. That for, you should have detailed that for him because clearly he he needed oh. that blueprint. Also, sci also psych wards. Yes, also that. You yeah, it's okay. Do you like I'm it? Good to work in a psych ward. So I just want to point no, that, that out. might just be someone's type. Then he got catfished by one of his female friends from there, and then like, uh, the only thing I want to say is, though, is, is I, I genuinely when a woman so pretends to be a woman that's really shitty for someone to like, like pretend to catfish him and have him go yeah. out there. I think that's terrible. On the same note, it, it, he sounds like he actively chose to do a poor decision. He was a willing participant. Fair. And and here's the thing, like he got catfished. Listen, I love I love some catfishing stories, but based on his behavior of the stream, which again I don't know his backstory, his behavior of the stream towards myself and Lola, who is much more eloquent than I am, and everyone else here in this chat, I just have a hard time feeling sorry for him because he's entitled and he uses big words he doesn't understand Tell and me. then also projects the words yeah. he uses that he actually is guilty of onto others even if i was younger and fertile and all all of them beautiful <laughs> once more um i'd be like uh fool you've done nothing in your life and you dumb <laughs> no that, lola do you want me to buy you coffee for tomorrow i'll do it through the internet Coffee date. 
John. <laughs> if you if you insist, sure. Um <laughs> There's two things that turn Lola on, coffee and Kratom. <laughs> <Done. laughs> I did her nana pill box. This is nana pill box roulette, everybody. Just spin it. <laughs> uh, yeah. That's why, that, so that's why I asked the the question uh was like do you understand that maturity isn't just an age? Oh, the puffer. Um, you knew do you understand were... that maturity isn't about age? It's about a mindset. It's about like, it's about Sir, being an adult. Sir, like, that is bigotry. That is bigotry. <laughs> yeah, age is a bigot. You're a bigot. I knew that that was going to spark us the Lolo Queen from him, and I knew it was a really nuanced question. I'm like, I'm not sure what direction he's going to go in, but. Man, he said a lot, but I'm not sure if he really got to the heart of what you were talking about there. But I mean, he I, said a lot of big words for someone who's trying to get a college education and doesn't understand how those words work. <laughs> yeah, mm-hmm. so somebody in the chat uh, recognized something that he said. Uh, something about the, uh, he, I think he meant jeans and said base pairs. <laughs> At one point, I, I think that's what he ended, he ended up saying. Base pairs. He was he was talking to me about telomeres, and you you saw me kind of stop, and then I talked. I said, "Oh, but I see your comment, and I'm ignoring it because I picked up on it, and I didn't want to say anything because it was breaking the flow of conversation." But that that happened when we were talking. I'm like, "No, that's not what Yo. it is." But fine. Listen, I break all the flow of conversation. So sorry. <laughs> Drag, who is the cat that you texted uh, you're not worth my time right at the end? Who is that dude? Oh, that was a tangle. Oh, oh God. God. <laughs> Wait, that was who? Yeah. What? Oh, so, Tangelo Grosso. Tangelo. I don't so, know who okay, that is. Think, oh, I remember, 23 base pairs of chromosomes. That's what it was. No. That's a big no. That's not 23 base pairs of chromosomes. And I and all but saw my face. I knew he saw my face. So I'm like, that's not how that works. But that's fine. I know what he's trying to say. I'm gonna leave it alone, and that hurt. <laughs> now, the, now, Tangelo Grosso is—he's a younger creationist. He doesn't know. He knows even less than Luke about biology. Let me let me make that abundantly clear. I have a long history with Tangelo talking to this guy on Facebook, and he's a dick all. He try He called himself trying to school me on fucking young earth, or excuse me, early earth chemistry, which he didn't know that you could have polymerization without enzymes. Don't. Come to- <laughs> if you don't know basic fucking chemistry, okay? And so well, he got upset. Huh? And, and, and I didn't understand a word you said there, Drag, but That's I assume fine. you're correct. I did. Because I failed biology. <laughs> but I, I, guess, I, guess what? Guess what? I don't fucking stand up and talk to anybody about biology because it's not what my degree is. I, I do environmental science, Drag, but I know I know what you're saying. Does that I like chemistry because I used to do a lot of chemicals. Yep. Same. <laughs> <laughs> but no, but no, like that. So, so he is the guy that's telling me that I'm wrong while I'm having to teach him basic chemistry. And I told him I was like, "You are wasting my fucking time, dude. You're not going to sit here and try to call yourself schooling me on a topic that I can literally teach people at this point, right?" And so he's gotten upset that every single time I see him, I'm like I don't want to fucking deal with you until you go learn basic chemistry. And I gave him a playlist of like Chem 101, like. Uh, crash course biology and shit like that for him to go learn before he comes talk to me. And uh, since then, he's been chasing. Oh, I don't want. I don't want to talk to Dre. All he has are insults. No, sir. I well, tell you the truth. That's what sorry, you're. You, you had a syllabus. <laughs> right. Well, that's what I'm saying, Drag. Like that's why I asked. Can you take these words you're using and tell me what you think they mean? Sure. Because I'm not sure you understand the gravity and the weight these words mean. And I don't think you're using them correctly. So tell me what you think it means so the rest of us can educate you. And if you're not open to being educated, you're fucked, in my personal opinion. That's just. Right. And I think when he gets excited, when I'm just talking about Lucas, I think when he gets excited and he starts talking about his little niche topic of cell senescence and shit like that, that he has a, a just a wave of terminology of and of things that he wants to say. It's like um, uh, if everybody has kids or you have like little nieces and nephews around the age of eight or nine, they're trying to talk really fast and they get their words jumbled up. That's what sort of happens to, to Lucas. And like so, tunnel vision? Huh? 
like tunnel vision? I'm sorry. I'm just yeah, trying to yeah, absolutely, yeah, yeah, yeah. He'll get okay. he'll, he's, because he knows where he wants to get to, but he's trying to explain. He's getting excited, and that's why he he came up with 23 base pairs of chromosomes. No, there are just there's just 23 pairs. It's 23 pairs. That's what he was trying to say, but he ended up coming up with base pairs because well, that yes, there are there are base pairs within the chromosomes, obviously. Yeah. AT, so, CG stuff, yeah. Yeah. So that's, but when, that's, I, but, but yeah. when I'm asking him what these words, not even just talking about chromosomes, but when I ask him what he thinks certain words means, and he comes at me, but your age is your bigoted and you accept <laughs> like racism. socialism, like socialism, Thank you. Deflection, communism, deflection at its finest. When I ask, what do these words mean to you? Yeah. He throws them back in my face, which yeah. is like, listen, again, I hear worse at work. Trust me, I hear worse at work. My life has been threatened at work. You can't come at me with something, some shit I haven't already heard. He can't define those words. I, I understand tunnel vision and you're passionate and you're dedicated. I'm all about that. I'm all about education. If people get a degree, a bachelor's, an associate, a PhD, whatever it is, in their 40s, 50s, 60s, I'm all about that. But if you don't understand what these words really mean, and when I ask you what they mean to you, what your de definition, what your perspective of them are, you generalize and you throw them back in my face without explaining yourself, I, I'm, I'm having a hard time, Drag. I'm just being honest. Yeah, no, no I understand. There are some people that, that I engage with very rarely on, on YouTube, and I know when they don't know what they're talking about. <laughs> And they'll use a term or a con or reference a concept. <laughs> they'll reference a concept, and uh, I'll ask them, "Hey, what does such and such mean?" And I'll just leave it at that. They know that they fucked up, and so what they'll do is they won't answer the question. They'll get upset that I asked them that because they know that they fucked up. Because the second they try to explain it, and I have to correct them, then that sort of you know negates the point that they were trying to make. So. It's an easier route to just, you know, try to deflect from it so that you don't show that, you know what, hey, I'm gonna I'm gonna put my foot in my mouth here. Well and, and based on what I was hearing people talk about um, right now. Or, or, or at least the way Lucas was trying to talk about things. I, 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 Drag, you have like a little kid, I know. Have you ever mm -hmm. had like an eight year old try to like explain to you like where babies come from or something like that? And like they're like, well, the store goes to the baby store and like walks you through, and you're just like, uh huh, uh huh. And, but like, it's all. This boring. happens every time Dragnot talks to G Man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I really, I really want to know if G Man knows where babies come from. Um, <laughs> but but when Daddy uh, gets drunk. The Jesuit. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, fuck you, who's a buddy for this one? Sorry. But like the way Lucas was trying to explain these things, it really did genuinely feel like he he didn't know what he was saying, and he was trying to avoid saying or committing to anything specific. Yep, absolutely. I think he's yeah, I, I, and I did, I did pick up on that, but that's because there are, there are channels now that uh, do something similar to sort of what I do, in that when you have a tart saying things that's demonstrably false and then contradict themselves again and again and again and again, it's easy to compile that. And so you're going to be more guarded with your words so that you can't keep on, you know, seeing these videos because he watches them. I see him, the same videos uh, that, that he's commenting on that he doesn't like, I'm watching them. And I, I see his comments on them. So he's seeing, he's watching them. And so, you know, it, it's better because the two people who are making these videos, the, excuse me, these channels, they're in the live chat and he knows that they're going to you know clip stuff out of here and say oh you know he said such and such five years ago and it's going to be a whole thing so it's it's a bit of he's playing defensive in, in this case and I well think i no. sorry sorry i'm sorry um i'll say this like we like i said before we all make mistakes we all say dumb shit. we all have to apologize but an, an apology without action is an empty promise right so if he hasn't changed his behavior, and to me from the stream, he still hasn't changed his behavior yes. when it comes to women specifically, because that's an experience I can speak on. Um, I still think he's 
looking for that unicorn. And I also think he's using words he doesn't fully understand because he's deflecting, because he really doesn't understand, because he's on the defense. And here's the thing, like, I didn't come on here to, like, just the tip him okay like i actually was like make me understand i'm i'm serious like i'm i'm 100 on here like make me understand like or help me rather excuse me help me understand why you feel the way you do why do you feel like you are entitled to this goal status of you get everything exactly what you want in a woman and you expect someone to hand you the blueprint I, yeah. like, make it make sense to me. And again, well, Lola, go ahead, Lola, go ahead. Oh, I was just going to say, just what makes you just so special? You know, what <laughs> well, is not... it about you that's just so, what's the glint in your eye, kid? <laughs> and that's my next question is what you want, you want the, we'll say unicorn. I keep using the word unicorn, excuse me. What, what is it about you specifically, sir? We'll say, sir, we'll say gentlemen, because I'm trying to be nice here. I could be a real big bitch. I said it. I'm a bitch. Okay. <laughs> what is it about you, sir, gentleman, Mr. Gentleman, that makes you worthy of the perfect unicorn woman you're looking for? Because I can tell you, based on this stream, I would go tell you to sit on a broom and rotate. It's narcissism. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's that's one of the things that I found disconcerting about uh, Lucas Warner, and that's when I was doing, you know, my reviews of him. And it's like it is, and he says it's sort of his his past experience and his past self, uh, but I'm not too sure. Like, I still see a lot of that in uh, how he communicates on Instagram or how he communicates on uh, fucking whatever these other platforms or YouTube, whatever. That he he's not necessarily seeing women as people and i understand that perspective as a guy but from years ago not not currently as like years when i was really young not understanding that that women are their own unique special entities out there that are different they are different to me they i, I looked at women as as alien but that's because i couldn't identify with them and I did not learn, and this is a full admission, uh, until, God, almost three or four years ago from my female therapist that men and women do fundamentally think differently, and it's because men compartmentalize everything, and we're yeah. more so goal-oriented than women, typically. Obviously, it's not the generalization, but typically, men and compartmentalize everything. Women can keep everything everywhere, and they keep a track of it, and that's why you know that, that again that's just a different the whole dynamic but i could not fully appreciate that being a young man because you i'm know, always right. no, go ahead right go ahead. i'm sorry I, I just sorry i i stand therapy i have a therapist what up um you don't have to and I'm, i might have used this word before so i apologize you don't have to perfectly understand a woman and her experience right regardless of where they fall on the spectrum right it's accepting that her experience or their experience is different, right? And that knowing that not everyone is perfect, okay? My husband is not perfect, okay? Like, but it's okay that that's, that, that our experiences are different, right? Um, and again, like you're saying, talking about going to a female therapist, I also have a female therapist, men, women, and everyone that's on the spectrum, like we all have different life experiences and that's perfectly fine. But, but, but that's what I was trying to get to. He's, it seems as though from my perspective, sitting in this chair, he's tunnel vision and he can't appreciate that there's more outside of that tunnel. I'm sorry. I, I'm a hand talker. I'm a hand talker. <laughs> <laughs> clip, clip me as a gif okay clip me okay there's more to the come on, life frank. <laughs> come on come on frank come at me yeah, come there's more to the life experience than what is here it's it's all around i'm, I'm getting woo woo on y'all i'm so sorry <laughs> but, you want me to kick you todd kick me. i know you want to Okay, you want me done? I got it. Yeah, yeah, I gotta go anyway. Uh, kick me. Kick, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm, I'm so sorry. I, I, think, 
But like, you're you're a hundred percent right in that like he doesn't understand. And I I just want to say like kudos to Greg for figuring it out with his female therapist. God bless my wife. It took me like I, I only figured it out like two years into being married to her. Absolutely, like, different. And it's just, it is such a unique experience, mm-hmm. and it is something that is so difficult to understand. But the first step to understanding it genuinely requires you to be like, oh fuck, I don't get women. I don't. It's an openness. Women. It's an openness to being like, because here's the deal. Here's the deal. I'm a cisgendered woman. I identify as pansexual. I work in a man's field. I'm educated, whatever. My husband, literally an army veteran, okay? I will never, I will conceptually never understand his life experience. I will never understand what it's like to watch his brother and sisters in arms die in front of him. I won't understand. But it's it's accepting that my life experience is different than his. Yeah. And that's okay. You and that to- I don't I don't have to mold him into this perfect person. I don't have to mold him into this perfect spouse. I accept him for the, the good and bad, the ugly and the indifferent and all that all that woo-woo shit I talk about, okay? That's okay. But I don't think this individual y'all put on, on this interview, I don't think as of right now, he is willing to accept that. Does that make sense? I don't think he's capable of accepting that. Okay. See, like, like, what 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 bothers me about him is like, he comes off as delusional, which he is to an extent, but like, I think he also has the ability to mask that delusion as part of his narcissism, and that like he is able to he he he's able to dissemble and like, oh yeah, I think this about eighteen year olds until he gets cornered, and he's like, well, you know, you know. You know, he comes up with the excuse A, B, and C, and then he generalizes yeah. and then yeah. throws it back in your face, right? Okay. Yeah. Well, it's the same thing yeah. he does with the racism, just looking for a laugh when that's yeah. transparent as hell. Yeah, it's, it's okay to be racist if you're getting a laugh, right? Like that's okay. Like that's totally not gonna get well, clipped. <laughs> you know what? You know what's really telling about that, and I say this from the perspective of I, I when I was in college, I did speak like that, and. I realize, hey, that's that was not okay. That was a bad thing for me to do, and I should do that. But you, well, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm wondering if he has anyone in his life, like in real life, regardless of pandemic or not. I'm wondering if he has anyone in his real life that checks him at the door. Because I can tell you again, just the racist conversation alone, just that subject matter alone the men that I work with and my supervisor and his supervisor, they'd be like, yeah, no, that's not okay at all. Someone just said in the chat that he has a vet life and now I'm kind of scared. Yeah, I kind of want to get out. No fucking way. way. No fucking what way. You say he has what? A vet life. life count. Is, uh, what, here's the deal. I don't judge anyone for their <laughs> that look preference. What is, what is that? Hold, hold on a second. What does what that mean? Let's uh, the rat icon with the, uh, the machine gun with the flower. Fet life is like Facebook for people with fetishes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm, J- I'm, I'm Jake, by the way. Yeah, yeah that's Jake. I have a if it's if it's consenting yeah, Jake, adults, Jonas, whatever. that's fine. Like, do, yeah, but do there's you... weird people on Fet Life who don't understand. There's some weirdos. <laughs> well, no, no, I'm just gonna Yo, say. Did you guys know... notice him uh, perk right up when Lola started talking about fetishes? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, started like, hitting. I, I don't know if you guys. I don't. We all perked up a little bit there. Let's be fair. When you're when you're talking about <laughs> fetishes, there are certain things that I just can't agree with. Uh, children, feeders, those type. I know the geek room has touched on, danced around very carefully those certain subjects. Um, but again, consenting adults are consenting adults. But I'm, ba- again, based on the stream, I'm a little concerned at doing a Google search of this dude and what he is interested in. Yeah. Probably four letters D D L G. Oh, God. <sighs> Yeah, well, oh, just uh, daddy, 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 daddy Dom, Daddy Dom, little girl. Well, that the eighteen-year-old oh, okay. thing, the eighteen-year-old in the club, y'all, the eighteen-year-old yep. in the club. Right, does, uh, we, apparently, someone did say that he 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 goes by Daddy on Bet Life. This is I'm already 
Ooh, learning too much. Of course, of course he does. <laughs> I, I, I am. I was a professional in that area. Lola, Lola, hold my hand, please. So wait, somebody's saying uh, DD, LD, and anal torture. Oh boy. Ooh. Holy shit. All right. Well, look, I'm not. Look, it's, it's icing on the cake at this point. But uh, I think that. By the way, we, I think we have room for one more person in here. If somebody else wants to sort of get in and spice it up. Um. I, I he he is he is fascinating. Uh, of all the people that I review, he is very fascinating. And I'll give him this: uh, he is one of the few that's willing to chat. And I and I told him, you know, upfront that I'm going to I'm going to press you on quite a few things. Uh, and I sort of got out initially what I wanted to get out. He wants to discuss more about the telomeres. I was like, cool. I like challenging people's perspective because I disagree with a lot of what you're saying. It just so happens to be up my alley. Uh, but yeah, definitely more. I, I want to talk to him more on how he approaches women because there is a there's a stream. And for those of you who've been watching me for years, when I was on Talking Shit Tuesday, and I said um, there's so I've actually taken the time to try and and fix what the hell was wrong with my head growing up, where I didn't understand women to the point that I have come up sort of with a system on how to sort of get the woman that you're looking for by understanding that each one is a unique creature. Now you can categorize them, sure, but each woman has her own kinks. And if you don't know what the, the price, so there's like a primary set of attributes a guy has to have for the majority of women, and then you can sort of filter it down into the niche areas. Now, some of those niche areas are like sapiosexuals or something like that, because you can check all the mark. Hey, you know, he's over six feet tall. His beard connects. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. He has a deep voice. Uh, all that good shit. But if he I don't have a deep voice. Yeah, no, fuck you. If, you, if, you <laughs> if he speaks and dumb comes out, it's going to dry the vagina. So you need to find out which slot this chick fits in. And so what I ended up doing was I went down the road for every woman that was on the panel we're talking shit Tuesday, and I said, here's how I would approach Deidre. Deidre's a nerd. I would approach her and say, hey, I bet you've never raided Karazhan and never wiped in a group. And she was like, you know what? That would get my attention. And I said, I know it would because you're a fucking nerd. And so, and that's, I mean, it's, it, it's, it's not hard if you understand that group of people because women love humor. If that, if that's, a uh, universal almost amongst most women if you know how to activate her funny bone in whatever area it is. For Mrs. Drag, it was humor and obviously intelligence. Well, What's that's what I was asking. What is Did you just say for? obviously it was intelligence? Obviously. Obviously. I mean, I mean Drag's very intelligent um, and funny. But I got a question. Like, I like it. I just, but that's why I was asking this guy. What is it that you're looking for? Because I'll sit here right now, and if you want to throw a pickup line at me, I'll tell you if it would work or not in a bar. I'll pretend I'm 18, 18 year old, fit and curvy. I can tell you the shit he was spilling. One's well, gonna work. My vagina curled up inside of itself. <laughs> as he was talking. Yeah. Yeah, it's like, and so yeah, 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 yeah. Lola what? might disagree. This is my perspective. <laughs> based on my life experience, to be fair. But I can tell you, I was sitting here like, I really want to understand this guy. I, I really, truly do. Just so you know, uh, my husband and I differ politically on the spectrum, 100%, right? I am just left of center. He is just right of center. I can tell you our marriage works. So I'm okay with sitting here going, make me make it understand. And he could not. And if anyone wants to come at me in my DMs, like, I'll make you understand. I'm here for it. I'm, I'm all about listening to everybody's perspective on things. Any, any subject you got, I'm here for it, okay? He did not I love it. He is not here. Absolutely. I, I was not convinced that he even understood the words he was using, no, I, which is I, why I kept asking. I think he's hit on underage girls for sure. Like I, and, and, and I just don't understand why. I mean, I don't understand why, but you, well, you know I'm. I think that, and this is this is genuinely. It, it, I don't know if you guys have dealt a lot with like incels. But yeah, no, yes. I, yep, I agree already. Yep. Yeah, this is this yeah. is what. Well, I, listen, I got this. 
<laughs> this is what I see when I when I interact with incels is this desire for this this perfect hot girl and I don't know if you want to blame it on porn or whatever you want to blame it on but the reality is is I, I genuinely feel like these people have never dated the hot girl in school and realized that if her personality is trash like it's a problem yeah and They're the other really aspect is Oops, well, that, but you could, yeah, like I said, that you can sort of categorize people. I know that I'm not going to get uh, in Bizarro World. Drag's not going to get an Instagram model, but I also know that Drag probably doesn't want an Instagram model because I've listened to quite a few of them speak, and I don't like dumb. Like that is instantly a turnoff for me. If you don't speak as if you have at least some life experience, some intelligence, you can have the best titties and ass around. I'm not going to want you, right? So, but that's, I, but that's what he wants. He wants at ass, titties, whatever song the keep room plays, ass and titties, Something intelligent. Oh, I don't have my oh. thing up. Come on, give it to me, Frank. Come on, I'm ready for it. Oh, I've noticed a lot of incels that have the, the narcissism, the ass, ass. titties. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, Frank. <laughs> That's at least what I've seen as far as incels, that's the common denominator. A lot of uh, entitlement, a lot of narcissism, a lot of ego. A lot of seeing women is is I should I should get you, not you know we should. Well, date. That's why. Like, that's why he's I like, should, where, are they? where are they? Where are they? Where are they? Where are they? Yeah. Somebody wants that yeah. unicorn, and he wants. That, somebody that? He, he like doxed his neighbor or something because or, or threatened to call the cops and tell them they were heroin dealers if they didn't hook him up with an eighteen year old girl. Or something like that. I maybe. Oh yeah. Maybe hey, hey, is it yeah. weird that is it weird that I want to tell my daughter who's eighteen not to date a forty-one-year-old? <laughs> no. We trade. We and... trade like we trade like art pictures and talk all the time. And now I'm just like, don't ever, don't, don't, don't. don't. Just do I have to say that? <laughs> I the thing have to, but here no. we are. Here we are. Yeah. The thing with incels, this is what I've kind of learned, um, I guess, in in my life experience and in the kind of work that I've done, is that these are uh, individuals that don't really understand the benefit or how to really have a basic friendship. Yeah. In the first place, they don't understand the connection there and how to care for a person just as a person. They've never naturally had that. Like, like they, they never had like a childhood friend that they just connected with. Yeah, they think that you just go instantly to like having sex immediately. Like that's how yeah. it that, works. That comes back to treating women like humans. Yeah. Humans. Instead of objects. What an amazing and then, idea, right? And, and then he throws the your to Lola and I, mind you, which is hilarious. Um, saying we're sexist, bigoted, and we accept sexist things said to us. Yeah. Well, one of the, one of the things earlier in like when you at the beginning of the stream, someone asked him like, uh, you know, let's say you get invited to the party and none of the girls are interested, and he's like, well, you know, I'd like to think, you know, his whole freaking perfect champ or perfect gentleman bullshit. But it was also like my first thought was like, they're they're bigots. That's his first reaction. If well, he, that's if, what I'm saying. That's yeah. what I'm saying. It's deflection. It's like he is, he feels he wants entitled. To, he wants to get an 18 year old shit piled drunk and fucking <sighs> take advantage of her. But that he's wants. entitled to the perfect woman that will fuck yes. him on the first met, on meet up in yeah. a bar. 18. And no, tell at a bar. You mean the sure. bus stop. Because the I bus, tell yeah. you, if he met me. And like, not that I would go with home with them. Let's be real. I have standards. <laughs> I have standards. Okay. If I met this guy in a, a bar, it's a, it's a thought experiment. It's I a, don't have standards, and I still wouldn't go with him. Right, <laughs> okay. Let's let's do an experiment. I'm gonna tell you what. Okay, husband in the next room. Let's pretend him and I are not married. Okay. If he came up with me, came up to me in a bar and said the shit he was spewing on stream tonight, I'm out. Because he, the things he was spewing, he cannot come back with me, but come back to me with an intellectual argument for the things he said. Yeah. Because he cannot even define what a bigot is. He can't even defend himself on saying, oh, I made a racist comment because it was funny. 
A couple people laughed. It's like, oh, yeah. God. And if, I'm, yeah. I'm, make, I'm mocking that generation. Yeah. And then when I say something about a generational issue, he goes, you're, you're, you're ageist. <laughs> but his, his whole focus is on age. This is his exactly. whole thing. Keeps bringing up Gen Z, which, by the way, is, a, is, is categorized from eight years old to 23. Okay. So great, we we, we gotta get Gizzly the opinions midnight. of people in 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 like middle school. He but like, he wants that he wants no. that perspective. Well, what middle schoolers. Are I want to hear from that age group. Oh. Well, let's good. just go quiz some middle schoolers. So hold on for a second. I, Adam Master got in here. I'm not sure if he actually got a chance to engage in the conversation. Stranger <laughs> danger. Oh, I, I, I poked in briefly. Um, all I can say is, is that that was like one of the biggest displays I've seen of just constant delusion, <laughs> like, you know, back to back. He just kept saying just shit that blew my mind and just how like, ridiculous it was. Yeah. So Dude, I was what impressed. is that in the collection? I'm sorry, go ahead. Uh, uh, well, I do want to just say one thing. As soon as he brought up Andrew Yang, I was like, if Yang actually heard this live oh. stream, I, I, I bet he'd be like, dude, I'm going to pay you $1,000 to fuck off and yeah, just yeah. never say my name again because... <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Yeah, I'll please. Me. Exactly. Right. Yeah. That, that's all I really wanted to say uh, when I came in here to begin with. But Well, and I, I think it speaks to uh, something Lola said where, like, the reality is... is not only is he entitled to this perfect woman, he's entitled to this this important person in his life, but he, there is there is no obligation for any standards whatsoever associated with him while he has these standards for these women. So so the two of you are not good enough for him, mm-hmm. but if he wasn't good enough for you. Well, you guys, well, you're just classist. The fact that he's homeless, like you're just being classist. The fact that he doesn't have a degree, you're being, I don't know, classist dumbest. What well, I don't know. But, but, but that doesn't hold any weight though, because again, my husband went to high school, went straight into the military. Trust me, I have no problem with someone not having a college education. That's not the point of this, I right? I thought you were like, going to say dumb, and that would have been really fun. No, I mean, no. if he's 11 Bravo, then yeah. yeah. Well, no, but anyways. Uh, but, like, that's... Uh, I just have a problem with all... Like, I'm sorry, Lola can probably express herself way better than I can, because now I'm just getting heated, which is never helpful. But, like, I don't think he would ever be okay with even someone like me, Okay. Lola is again way more intelligent than I am and can eloquently speak, but that's why I asked him. I went to college. I'm 31. I have my own career. I own my home. I own my vehicle. You come to me in a bar. Are you going to be okay with that? I don't think he would be because I don't think he can accept that the woman that he wants, even age range aside, I don't think the woman that he wants, I don't think he can stand someone being with someone who's more ahead in life than him. Oh, I think he wants to control. He wants to control. He wants to mold. That's why he wants someone younger. Hold on for a second. Hold on. So uh, for one thing, uh, fuck the infantry. Second, uh, so (laughs) a lot of guys is not, and I won't say it's not just Lucas. A lot of guys are insecure about a woman making more money than them. It's That's not right. just him. So that I think this is a more systemic issue, but it's sort of highlighted because of Lucas's other, we'll say, predilections. Uh, but it is it is interesting because I think that while he sort of refers to himself, and I forgot to mention this, uh, while I was talking to him, he refers to himself as Dr. Lucas on Instagram, <laughs> which much, much to my chagrin, I, I, did, I forgot to mention that. And I'm like, I... I would love to get my PhD. I'm working on my master's, and I'm like that. That right there rubbed me the wrong way, uh, because it's like you. It's sort of you putting on airs here. Like I get it. A lot of people like to have PhD, but I don't think that that's appropriate for you to you call it. Do you think that plays into his narcissism? Possibly. Yeah, I think it plays into his fantasy. Doctor of what? Telomere. Telekinesis or whatever. 
<laughs> Can we all agree that Doctor so, Greg has a nice ring to it? I, I think what I think the actual like he he would have like a, a PhD in cell senescence. I think that's what he's actually trying to say, but he ends up saying some pretty kooky stuff. But that's his area of interest. We'll call it that is cell senescence. That sounds like beauty products, but okay. Yeah, senescence to make it not ugly. <laughs> sounds like a breath mint. Lighten up with senescence. Oh. It sounds like some type of beauty product. I'm not gonna lie to you. Uh, there, I had a thought, and now, okay. So the whole, and something I had brought up was that I I went to to university, and it ended up being just a giant waste of time for me, really, um, because what I ended up doing just really requires, you know, you can get credit, you like certification for certain things like i'm gonna try to um aim for one that's come out that's called like uh data and law security that so that i can mm -hmm. learn more about the protocol of because i'm trying to refine stuff for digital evidence submission and forensics um but up to this point like i have some ones that are quite old but i i have no like formal schooling for what i do i'm all self-taught but you know so it's not just that the intelligence doesn't necessarily also come from university either right. and the thing that i was wondering with that 20 years of, of that i can't figure out what the hell happened there is that there could be potential for somebody to develop a lot of wisdom but i don't know what the fuck he was doing right like right. what are you doing to, i think that's a fair question yeah yeah because i mean there but what I, I guess part of what has allowed me to have the insight that I do is that I've gone through a lot of unusual things in my life that most people wouldn't have and have been able to look at them uh, in, with humility. And with that, I develop wisdom. And if you're not willing to do that, if you're if you just think that you're perfect from the get go, you're going to be the dumbest person ever. <laughs> like you have to admit that you're stupid at some point that to, in order to, to, to progress any further. And that, so I just didn't, I'm like, what, what has your life been? Like, what have you been doing? How have you been surviving? What, like, I just don't, I don't get that part. Like, this doesn't make sense to me. I know a lot of people that are like this and I genuinely think I want to be generous as much as I can, but I, I honestly, these are people who have just, they've done fuck all. They've done nothing with their life. They haven't earned generosity. Well, it's not even that they haven't earned generosity, but he's done fuck all with his life, but he expects right. someone else to pick up those pieces and solve it all for them. People who have their own lives, who have their own obligations, their own wants and desires, which aren't going to be fulfilled by such a selfish asshole. Yeah, because that, that was the whole thing with uh, me saying that I want to, you know, yes, I'm, I, I, I'm a capitalist. I, I'm, I'm all about the free market. Yes. But I also want to choose where I'm willing to share my wealth. I just don't want to be forced. <laughs> like I'm willing to well, do that, I mean, and I actually are, do that. Like being forced is just called taxes, though. I mean, yeah. And, and well, that's I, something we all that's something we all have to pay. I mean, it's, yeah. Well, and it's for it's for the best. Otherwise, everything around you would crumble. Mm. Literally. I mean, if, if we were just like, well, we're libertarians, no more taxes, we would have no social programs whatsoever i mean we medical care would drop a shitload yeah like i i mean i at least go think that there that it should be a right to have adequate medical care that, that that's yeah. about as far as i go with it but um i i mean part what i do is i try to offer services and resources for people that are at no cost or low cost and manage to team up with somebody who is a philanthropist that wants to do that she just doesn't know how to do the technical part so it just it worked you know and i don't care about it you know uh, profiting from i don't care about it bringing me any i don't i don't need a, a 
a, a, a fucking Lamborghini or anything. Like, I can't even drive anyway, but, <laughs> like, it, that, that doesn't matter to me at all. And I also give because that is just naturally what I do. It's not because I expect that person later to sling some puss towards my way. <laughs> really? Even and, if they give you a sandwich? Yeah. Some weed. Because those are... Yep. That was the weirdest thing I heard him say the whole time. was like, yeah, I, I give him sandwich. I give him... He kept, like, making sure everybody knew the race of these people. Like, yeah, oh, that, yeah. Was, that was a little cringy for me. They were all looking for me. I need a Mexican boy. Black. Okay. Or... Does this guy give his 18-year-olds a day after a gift basket? Uh, it's, wait, it's, it's, wait. It's, it's, are you not supposed to do that? Because that might no. be a problem. Only if you cry afterwards. Only if you cry. Oh, okay. yeah, I bet he's the type of dude who goes to Hooters and thinks that, you know, they're into him because they're like... <laughs> oh, oh, my God, you're so right. Guaranteed he goes to the strip club. And well, Stanley did that at one point. And they're like, him. she goes to the drive-thru, and the guy, if the guy looked at her for like a second longer than he was supposed to, then it would send in her subliminal messages. I remember watching those <laughs> videos live. Yeah, I have them, I have them around here somewhere where she talks about. I think the guy, you know, who normally, you know, is at the drive-thru at Culver's is really into me. And I'm like, no, bitch, he wants you to leave. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> oh, yeah, your stream was funny earlier. She's like, oh, I didn't puke. Well, well, I did puke, but the kid did clean it up. <laughs> well, he helped clean it up, but it's just yeah. like one after another after another. She she can't help but to lie. That's that's I and I fully exploit that. I love. She just can't help but to lie. Did then her significant other say, "Oh, she feel bad. She feels bad for puking." I yeah. feel like I saw that clip on Twitter. I could be wrong. Yeah, no, she no, she feels, no, no. She feels bad for puking and stop lying about her. Except the thing isn't a lie because it's actually what happened. Yeah, she, she actually denied puking at one point and yeah. then said that, well, she did puke, but the kid didn't help her. But then, okay, the kid did help, but he just took out the trash. So it's <laughs> the way that Shani lies is that she sort of, she takes bits and pieces of what you're saying, and then she'll just sort of deny those bits and pieces as she yeah. goes along because as she needs to retcon whatever she thinks makes her sound bad. The issue is that she didn't tell Rev about that plan. And so <laughs> she's making shit up. He's telling on her. And so then they had to sit, fight and discuss, what are we going to say to people? Okay, cool. Here's a plan. It still didn't work. Someone call yeah. CPS. Like, <laughs> like, yeah. like, so she, so she, so she's trying to – I'm new to this whole – No, it's fine. It's fine. Saga. Yeah. Uh, hello. Um, so she's <laughs> trying to take the truth and go, I got this. I'll just – funnel into my own narrative but doesn't include her so into the actual narrative she wants to spin but it's still on the internet but she refuses to accept that once you put it on the internet you're up for criticism so so no she does no oh, no that's, that's <laughs> never. I'm, new, I'm new here i'm new i'm never new here. Let, I, I, she's when she says i've been interacting with drag for almost 10 years she's right and i watched her actively lie and tell people what they haven't said in the same conversations I've been sitting in them with the entire day. We all, we are all sitting around the same like a chat like this, except everyone's all down at the bottom. And I'll listen to her lie about what someone just said 95 minutes ago. And someone chatting, no one, he didn't say that. Yes, he did. You guys, oh, no, no, you delusional bitch. No, stop. That's <laughs> not what anybody said. Stop and, saying that. And she and gets, that's why and fucks off. The difference now is that she has rev. And Rev will sit and lie for her in real time, and yep. then and then create like a super. I call it a superficial lie, right? It's a lie for the sake of lying. It doesn't really impact much, but it just adds spice into it. And so, what will end up happening is that she's not really on board with what he's saying because she's not she's not really paying attention because it's not about her. So she'll then say something that doesn't necessarily coincide with what he's the superficial lie. So now they have to really cover their ass. And yeah, this too dumb to keep on the and, same page. Yes. And what and what headache medicine do you take so you can get to the next tunnel vision lie drag? I got. Oh no, it. I don't. So I, I I need to know now because I'm new around here yeah. in so the tracks. You, well, you have to give a trick. Yeah, so, you know. so you ex anything that you hear from here's here's how I do it. Anything you hear from them, presume it's a lie. From oh, I can. Yeah. Presume, presume everything Shani says is a lie. Right. 
when you have receipts for just the minor things, stick with that. Yeah. And then just say, okay, cool. Here's wow. something that's off or odd and wait. That's all you have to do. Did, wait. Did anybody catch that live stream she was doing right before the geek room? Yes. Mm -hmm. The three yeah. hours. Yes. She's like, she's like, I only caught the last hour or whatever, but she's like, I never, cause Yada was calling her on it. Like I never said I didn't puke. And like right before that on drag stream, we fucking you played it. it. Yeah. We played it like four you fucking times. It. Yeah. <laughs> so did you, if you go back to the beginning that this is actually a fun one, go back to the beginning. She says, look, you see drag and uh, drag driving drunk. You see Mrs. Drag drinking and driving drunk. She doesn't play the video. When? Because she realizes <laughs> she, she watched those videos and she remembers we took lift home. How many of her inside her people she thinks she has on the inside are just fucking trolls? All of them. <laughs> yeah, like all of them. There's, yeah. There's, there, I can tell you, there's quite a few people she thinks that she's friends with that she's yeah. not. They're, they're not. giving you. I mean, I've been friends with Shani on on her page for quite some time. She still doesn't know it's me. What Dragon about the, Lord, the, the, Bologna, the Bologna brothers? <laughs> no, I don't know who that is. I actually don't know who that Gen is. Genoa and Capicola and Bologna brothers. <laughs> so, I'm I'm like, really dumb. Gabagool. Gabagool no, Gabba really. is cheese, isn't it? Oh, my God. It's, I don't know. It's that cool. sounds more inter amusing than than tragic and cha or something. Um. Who? That's how tragic raps. It's a true, 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 true. Oh, the the bottom line of fear that he throws out there. Yeah, yeah I don't know. Uh, well, yeah. He makes he just makes sounds like. Makes oh. sense, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when he was talking to me, he goes chill, and I'm like, "Are you? Did you sneeze? What was that? <laughs> <laughs> Is that a tick? Is that a tick? I'm sorry. Like you know, do we need to call an ambulance for you? Are you? All right? <laughs> oh yeah, Tara. I hate that they call themselves the Bodega Boys. They stole that oh. from. Uh, Jesus, Jesus and Mero. Mero. Yeah. They've been calling themselves Bodega Boys for over a decade now. Well, but, they did go to Showtime, so fuck them. So. Yeah, <laughs> you can't, you can't hate on them. Who They're watches fine. Showtime, man? I'm the, saying, Showtime at the Apollo? The page, bro. No, no okay. Showtime, the, the paid TV. The, oh. the, like, uh, the Canadian HBO, basically. They used to oh. be on Vice <laughs> before they got yeah. on TV. Yeah, yeah. What so, makes one? What what is a what what is a bodega boy or baloney brother? What what is, what does that mean to them? Whatever, like <laughs> fucking diluted white boy version of freaking uh, urban life is. I would oh, guess. Yeah. You so it's like a, it's like their little car. gang. Online. Yeah, it's, it's it's a bunch of white dudes who think like yeah, like the kids in that in the. Um, the first episode of Chappelle's show when I can't remember his character's name now. Clayton's Bigsby is yelling at those white guys like, shut up you N-words and these like white dudes are like, dude he called us N-words. <laughs> you know? Like, well, because from what I've learned about the Baloney Brothers is that what they utilize as their weapon is, okay two things. Not, One not. is a uh, underage kid that uses hacks with the gooey included so not even a like a script kitty. He's got to have the GUI, um, the the actual interface of the program, um, to be able to just cheat in Minecraft because that's you know that that's where your talent is. Um, and then another guy who is uh, kind of on the outliers of the scam baiting community, and is not someone that's particularly good or beneficial to the scam baiting community. Hence outlier, and. All he can do is just utilize software that people I know put together to help tackle that, and he uses it for the wrong reasons, which is against the terms of service of the software. So I now know how to get him banned at any point. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. But... Like, why, what brings adults to do this shit? Like, to, like be that malicious like it's like small it's penises freaking, it's anarchism for the sake of chaos not anarchism in the tradition in like the political sense it's just it's small just like penis energy yeah can't relate fair 
Yeah, I mean, it, I, I just, it, it makes me wonder, like, at what point do they think that someone's not going to do something? Because I kind of really want someone to come at me and and try something. Just just so I can be like, this is what will really fucking happen. No <laughs> it. Maybe no one's done it and they feel like there's no um, repercussions for their actions. It's entitlement. They feel like the argument against them has no validity or no evidence or no backing and saying, oh, by the way, you can't do this. Mm-hmm. So to be fair, I hope they do come at you, Lola, because I'll be sitting back here with my popcorn. Mm. Mm-hmm. You, was it emo that went at drag i think and uh oh drag is like yeah this is where i live this mm-hmm. is where i'm at feel free to come by and he shut up so quick yeah like, they think that sort of shit intimidate it's like <laughs> no i don't hide who i am for a reason i live in texas if you want to roll up on me like i said before good luck it's texas no good luck with them. <laughs> i mean if you if you think that's that's a good idea i mean I live it. just south of DC. I'm ready. Yeah, there I, are I people. Probably... Oh, oh, sorry. Oh, there oh. are people who recently have figured out my f- oh, full my real God. name, and there's something that's about to happen very in my near future where that that name's going to be in a lot of places accessible, like and, and be accessible. So I'm just like, good job. You just figured out that I have the most basic bitch white girl name ever. <laughs> And that there are hundreds of me in this country, so try to try to find that. <laughs> Good luck. Yeah. yeah. Went too hard for people to find me. I'm the only black guy named Alfred out there. So <laughs> I actually worked with an Alfred who was a black guy. Really? There's another. There is another. 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 The assassin failed. I think I'm. I think I'm <laughs> Facebook friends with you. I'll connect y'all. No, that's okay. <laughs> you don't want to be another Black Alfred? Come on. You know, I have like eight Facebook requests of people waiting. And I, was, I look at them every day and I just go, yeah, I don't care. It's- <laughs> Are they high school friends trying to add you to their MLM group? No, there's somebody else oh, who God, called those. me on like AXP or some shit. And they're like, okay, MLM. cool. I'm going to add this other guy who doesn't believe in God because we'll, we'll not believe in God together. That's yeah. the thing we have in common. That's the only thing we have in common. That's literally. I was I was waiting for the MLM Lularoe, you know. What is MLM? I'm... Hey, hun. So I have this opportunity for you, and oh, I think that would be great. So I haven't seen <laughs> high school. Uh, just wanted to know I have Lularoe leggings for you. Oh. It's, it's dumb bitches who fall for pyramid schemes. Multi level marketing, gotcha. Yeah. All right, I brought that in. That's a whole another subject for another night. Yeah. <laughs> On that note, my wife is getting pretty pissed. You're right. Shit. Dear, do I do I hang a bit? Are you guys going caroling? <laughs> no. You guys going I caroling? No. She she doesn't want to be on camera. Do I hang a bit, dear? Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm probably going to close this down for a bit. Uh, so thank you all. I, I appreciate the invite. I appreciate it. Thank yeah, you. man. Thank thanks for letting me hang out. It's been a freaking yeah. long, a long freaking day for me. Same. So. All right, so just so people know, Lucas does definitely want to come back, uh, uh, despite Billy. Uh, I'm here. So, I'm ready. Yeah, he, did, right. he didn't mention you. I don't know why. Uh, but, yeah. He, uh, I texted Billy. I was like, come on, you got to get another freaking beer joke in there, man. <laughs> <laughs> then he just started calling him Frank, which is so much better. <laughs> so, the geek room is one person. Just know. one. So my yeah. uterus is, is too soggy for me to be a honey he's going to swoop in on? <laughs> yeah, sorry. My, my uterus is shit... all up inside of itself two seconds into me joining. So. Sorry, ladies. That shit's played out, man. Yo, yeah. but you don't have a chance. You, can, you can't score a Lucas. Your, vagi- your vaginas are the equivalent of of like a starter jacket in like 1989. Yeah. Hey, that's a great year this year of my birthday. Not, not, you, not pop- coffee? Just not, just not popular. Oh. <laughs> I have no idea where this is going. Um, but yeah, so. <laughs> yo, yo, Buck, are you gonna be awake for a little bit? All right, I'll be in Discord later. All right, yep, I'm gonna end it later, guys.